State just came off a good performance on the beam. Peter Corman, they go to the floor. Meanwhile, Utah goes to the beam. That's right. It's just like it was last year. Utah has to hit balance beam in order to win this national championship. But the pressure has been put on by Arizona State. Their three seniors really came through on beam, did outstanding routines. Let's see if Utah can handle it now. And let's find out what Utah is feeling about that. Ann Butler is with their assistant coach, Megan Marsden. John, I've been watching Megan interact with the girls during this first half of competition. Not an awful lot of structured coaching, just keeping the mood light, keeping the team loose. After two rotations, Megan, are you satisfied? Oh, very much so. The girls are doing really as well as we can expect at this point. We had some balls on vault, but as you know, on vault, only one vault counts. So we hit the vaults that we needed to. All right, the balance beam is coming up. What should we look for? Um, well, I'd say consistency, number one. I mean, I need my girls to stay on the beam. The other thing is um, staying on the beam is important, but they have fan them. mail at poolside, of course. <laughs> But how have the Lady Utes been doing back at the arena? As we've been saying all along, our leader, ASU, is one rotation ahead of Utah. But when you break down their scores after vault and bars, they are dead even. And what about our leader in the clubhouse, Alabama? Comparing their three common events, the Crimson Tide are ahead of ASU by three-tenths of a point. And this is Jackie Brummer with a two-fold purpose on the floor. A 9-3-5 gives her the all-around championship and a good score also helps our Arizona State team catch Alabama and maybe put a cushion between them and Utah. What an absolutely marvelous performance she's had so far. Two 9.65s and a 9.6 on the previous three events. This is not Jackie's best event, but what a tremendous amount of progress in the last three years. Nice opening double back. She doesn't do it real powerfully, but she held on perfect and landed it nice. And she's trying to catch Penny Hostile from Alabama, who was terrific earlier in this competition. Penny was terrific on the floor exercise. Jackie, nice second run on tumbling. She was never really a natural dancer, but she's gone through a lot of training at Arizona State, and she has made herself into a good all-around gymnast. Deserves an awful lot of credit. difficulty in this floor exercise routine, but there's an awful lot of presence. Jackie Brummer has really developed into a nice performer. She's enjoying herself right now to the music of classical gas. Jackie Brummer from Arizona State trying to win the all-around, but also trying to close at three-tenths of a point team deficit with Alabama, who earlier today was very average on the floor. Keep in mind as we watch this, she needs a 9-3-5 to outright win the all-around championship, a 9-3 to tie Penny Hochschild from Alabama. Nice dismount at the end of that routine. Boy, it's going to be close. Did you get a 9-3-5? Here comes the score. A 9-3, so we have a two-way tie in the all-around. Ann Butler is with a very interested spectator, Alabama coach Sarah Patterson. Right now you're in a position of having to sit by and watch some of the top seeds try and beat you. Is that a position of confidence, or are you in the hot seat? Well, I think they're kind of in the hot seat. The pressure's on them. I, I just hope the scores hold up, and I feel like no matter what happens, we did our job, and we did the best we possibly could do, and I couldn't be any prouder of my team. All right, Coach Sarah Patterson, Alabama, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. John, back to you. Thank you, Ann Butler. Alabama, of course, still very much in the hunt, as is Utah. And this is Sandy Sabatka, Utah's junior all-arounder from Chicago. She's on the beam. And Utah has been doing a tremendous job on the balance beam. A lot of confidence here. Look at Sandy perform. She's been steady. Great, great performer. Really the trademark of Utah. And what Megan Marsden just said, consistency. We can't fall off the beam. That's right. Now watch this turn. Grabbing her foot. Initiating a 360-degree spin. Oh, little off balance, but nothing major. And this is Utah. When the pressure's on on the balance beam, they go right through their routines. Not a worry in the world. And Sandy is probably the best example of any girl on the team right now of how to do that. Utah looking for their sixth straight national championship. Oh, 
comes a tricky pass. Front aerial, really nice. Tiny balance fault, but nothing major at all, and a nice scale. And you may have noticed Lisa Zeiss in the background on her floor exercise. We'll get to her in a moment. There's a lot going on in here right now. Arizona State on floor exercise, and Utah right in the heart of things on the balance beam. They know they have to hit here to win the title. They cannot afford the breaks. This is a very close competition between three teams. Nice dismount. She did her job again this year. And now let's go to Lisa Zeiss already into her floor exercise. She needs a 9-2-5 for her team to overtake Alabama. A 9-2-5, and this is a great event for Lisa. Beautiful dance, powerful tumbling. Let's watch. got Sandy Sabatka's score on the beam, and it was a 9.5. Well, that's going to change some things, I think, John. You know, not only now do they have to overtake Alabama, who was ahead of them going into this event, it looks like they're going to have to keep up with Utah, who just had an outstanding balance beam performance. So the heat was on Lisa Zeiss on the floor. And Peter, while we have a moment, let's go back in as we were watching Sabatka. Lisa Zeiss did an outstanding floor routine. This is a beginning tumbling run. Notice the power and lift off the ground right there. Nice height and amplitude. Tumbles into a handspring, front with a half twist to an elegant step out. Beautiful dream. And there's her score, 9-5-5, as Lisa Zeiss completes an outstanding collegiate career for Arizona State. And it's interesting, Arizona State has survived one scare. They are now ahead of Alabama, but the question is, can they hold off the defending champion, Lady Utes? They need a 46.3 in their final routine to win their sixth straight championship.